Two months ago, we made this YouTube video talking about the return to professional hockey for one of the most impactful Edmonton Oilers forwards of the past few years. And when I say impactful, I mean like literally this guy would make big impacts on the ice with his physicality and his body checking and his occasional goals once in a while. Zach Cassian made a return to pro hockey, and it was a really big deal. A lot of y'all were super excited, as was I, and we were having this conversation saying, yeah, you know, Zach Cassian, he's going to make a pro return. He's going to go over to Europe. He's going to get his career back and stated. That's great, right? He eventually signed with Sparta Praha in the Czech League, and the unfortunate part about Zach Cassian's pro hockey return is that he played eight games for Sparta Praha, but he only had three points, two goals, one assist, and after what was a very brief period with this hockey club, the news came out that he would eventually leave the team. The Canadian, who started 13 seasons in the NHL, is leaving Sparta Praha for personal reasons. This was back, let's say, about a week ago, week ago, so March 19th, 2024. Everything came and went so quickly for Zach Cassian. We made the video talking about how he's planning to return, and then we made another video about how he came back, and then how he signed with Sparta Praha, and what they could expect out of him, and there was the article on Sparta Praha's website where they were super excited to have him here, and like... You know, there's a lot of hype going around for a former NHL player who had spent all these years in the best hockey league in the world. Sure, Zach Cassian had some time spent in the AHL there, and his last season in the NHL saw him put up only two points in 51 games, but there's still a reasonable amount of hype that existed, especially for a player that had 34 points in 59 games played just four seasons ago. That's a really solid point production metric when you really think about it. But Zach Cassian, 33 years old, 6'3", 212, was not able to stick around with Sparta Praha. And the question everybody had was, why? Before we dive into the acknowledged reason as to why, because we now know why, that's kind of the entire reason I'm making this video, let's go out there and read some of the articles from the Czech Republic about Zach Cassian's departure from the league. Here is a tweet made by Yuri Ponkochar. Zach Cassian won't finish the season in Sparta. When I talked about him in February with Zibirek Mikalik, who saw Cassian in Arizona, I wondered if Mikalik was too hard on Cassian. He wasn't. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, it turns out that Punkochar went out there and interviewed Mikalik about Zach Cassian a month ago. And a lot of what was talked about was not really all too positive. Here's the article from idnez.cz. Yuri Punkochar goes out there and writes this on February 6, 2024. He interviews Zibenek Mikalik, and they talk about the acquisition of Zach Cassian. One of the big topics before the transfer deadline at the end of January was the return, or the attempts to make a return, of players from sports pensions. Cometa was interested in Cody Eakin, but it didn't work out. Zach Cassian landed in Sparta. What do you think about this trend? McCallick goes out there and says, It always depends on what kind of a player he is and what kind of style he plays, what age he is, what motivation he has, and what his state of health is. Those are things I can't see into. Specifically, I had the opportunity to watch Cassian when he played here in Arizona. And I have to be honest, I don't know what Sparta Praha expects from him. It's a huge surprise to me that they took such a player, and I don't think it would be a big boost. So already, when... Zach Cassian was acquired by Sparta Praha in the first place, there were already doubters. I mean, if you go over to Zach Cassian's 22-23 with the Coyotes, you're not going to find Zibenek Mikalik because he's not, you know, he's not active anymore, he's not playing, but he's still in the area. He was a part of the Phoenix Coyotes for a long time, he's there, and that's kind of why he's been paying attention. And the fact that he played for Sparta Praha just a few seasons ago, you know that he's got ties to both of these organizations. So, for even him to go out there in the article and say, yeah, I don't know why they signed him. Why did they take this guy? I don't think he'll be a boost. And only for just a month later, the entire thing to go down where it's like, yeah, he's leaving? That's some foresight right there. There are some other articles, like this one from Hokkej.cz. Transfer failure, Sparta's NHL star reinforcements are already flying home, and it talks about how Zach Cassian is 
done. Of course, we regret his return to Canada, but we fully respect him and we have agreed to end the cooperation," said Tomasz Divisek, the head of its sports department on Sparta's website. With respect to the players' privacy in the ongoing playoffs, we will not discuss the termination of cooperation in more detail. Now, according to information from Sport, Cassian's breakup with Sparta could be due to internal problems. After a four-day break before the playoffs, he allegedly did not arrive for the first joint training session. So, he was already potentially missing practice, according to some sources here, but it turns out the most damning piece of Let's just say evidence, that's the worst word to use, but let's go out there and see what former NHLer Yuri Tulusti said about Zach Cassian's early end in Sparta Praha. This is from a video interview where Tulusti goes out there and talks about him, and the quote reads this. He played in the NHL, and he thought he would come here and smash it with no training. It didn't go according to his expectations. He was removed from the team, and that was the last straw for him. And so Yuri Tulusti, who most people remember from his days in Carolina mostly, had his own few comments to go out there and talk about in regards to Cassian that also were not very kind. He says that, yeah, Cassian thought he would be able to just dominate, and he didn't. And now he's gone. Because the guy apparently was in a position to demand a bit more, and if it got to the point where here we're learning that apparently he didn't arrive for practice sessions, like, that's not good. Really, really not good. Let's go out there and read some of the comments here to end off this video. But, many such cases. These NHL players think they can walk on any European team's first line because they played in the NHL. The first liners do. Guys like Zach Cassian don't. Nobody who is able to play first line in the NHL is going to play in a EuroLeague. Maybe a once upon a time first liner. That's what I meant, I guess I wasn't clear. For example, in the Finnish League, the guys who are middle sixers in the NHL win, and if they return home, they still dominate that league at the age of 38. Another reply goes out there and says, yeah, here's the full quote. Zach Cassian is done at Sparta, officially, for family reasons. He played X seasons in the NHL. He thought he would come to Czech Republic, and without any fitness, he would be able to play our competition. That doesn't work anymore. The league is quality. Sparta saw that he didn't have the fitness, and they put him out. He thought it was going to be completely different. Then they didn't take him on the trip to Liberic, and I think that was the last one. Yuri Talusti broke it down. Hopefully, Zach can stay sober, take care of himself. It sounds like his mental state has been really in the gutter the past couple of years, and I think that's probably the best sentiment that we could send out there to end off this video, that even though there may be some hiccups in the road, some entitlement issues potentially from being an NHL player and going overseas and not being as good as you thought you were, not getting the role that you thought you'd be able to get, as long as Zach Cassian is able to just keep his head on straight and be able to move past this properly. You know, they said he's leaving for family reasons. That's the official reason. But a lot of these Czech people in the media are saying, yeah, no, he just wasn't good and he wasn't put in a position to actually try. So hopefully everything goes all right for Zach Cassian from here on out. But at the end of the day, a former Connor McDavid line mate is now in a pretty tough spot with the Sparta Praha Czechia team because he's not on that team anymore, unfortunately. All it took was eight games for them to realize this and not take him on a trip to Liberic, which maybe caused this entire fallout. But at the end of the day, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the unfortunate path of Zach Cassian and how it just kind of got worse from here on out. Thoughts in the comment section about his Sparta Praha stint. If there are any fans of Sparta Praha that are watching this video, then hey, feel free. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as to what happened, because we do get some international viewers once in a while, especially from Czechia. So I'm very interested in seeing more of the context involved here other than what was said in just these articles. But thoughts in the comment section below about Zach Cassian. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 9 And bye.